thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com. And today I wanna to take a look uh, very quickly, actually, at the Conversions tab of your Google Analytics build. So in regards to e-commerce, this is a critical integration, um, absolutely crucial. In regards to a lead generation website, it might be less important, but I still think there are a lot of insights to be gained from this. And if you're spending any money on AdWords or on advertising through Google, I highly recommend that you have conversions and goals configured. So and interestingly, I would estimate that approximately, definitely more than half of all business owners, I think right now, don't have conversions and goals configured on their web, on their website in their, inter, in their analytics integration. So let's take a quick look. What am I talking about? I'm talking about in your... In, in your analytics dashboard, we go down to the conversions tab, and this is the tab that very oftentimes is, has not been configured. So right here, we can click on conversions and goals. And what do I mean when I say conversions and goals? On your website, you have a, a home page. The home page is typically not the page where people uh, send you their money. In other words, if you run an e-commerce website, they have to pick a product, put it into a shopping cart and check out. And if you run a lead generation website, they have to know you, understand what you do, like you, and then submit their information in the form that very oftentimes is not located on your homepage. Well, if you, if I work for you, there probably is a form on your homepage. Um, here, here we can see the URLs that we have determined are the landing page that equals a goal. And right here we can see a list of those. So for this client, believe it or not, there are 218 URLs that they have determined are a critical goal or an important goal that they want to measure. All right, and we can see the number one um, URL that, they're, that they've determined as a goal is your info.html followed by order completed, followed by register success, all right? Now you can make even just a product page can be a goal because maybe it's a new product and you wanna track how many people are coming to that page through a Facebook campaign that you're, you might be boosting for $1,000 a month, right? So that's a goal, they landed on the page, that's a goal, was completed. So in the overview, I skipped to URL so I could show you what I meant, but in the overview, you're going to get to finally see some insights. 22,000, uh, let's check it out. In the last 30 days, 22,916 website visitors have completed a goal. That's a very different metric than how many people have visited my website. That's very different from what is my bounce ratio. This is a whole different set of of numbers and it's very interesting sometimes to, to determine um, that maybe certain marketing money is not worth it maybe I need to spend more money on this on this marketing funnel you know because a lot of people who come from that funnel are completing my goals so um, let's skip right to one of my favorite visualizations which is funnel visualization okay and here is a really cool overview and we can see the goal that I'm measuring right now is purchase completed. All right. So in 2,379 sessions, a purchase was completed. 23.15% funnel conversion rate. And here's how we can see it. <clears throat> Here are the 3,569 people who landed on my website, added a cart, added a product to the cart, and proceeded to billing and shipping. So 34.73%. 81% of the 3,569 people proceeded to payment. So that's 2.9 thousand people proceeded to payment. And then 84% of people who proceeded to payment proceeded to review and completed a purchase. So here we can see 23.15% funnel conversion rate means exactly this. If 100 people go to my e-commerce store, 23 of them, on average, will complete an order with me. So take every hundred dollars on marketing that I spend, and and already you're gonna instantly shave right seventy seven percent, seventy six percent of that marketing money. Shave it right off the top because that many people are gonna get to your website and not even buy anything, right? So in web design and web development, we work on tricks and 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 
we do testing, we do A-B testing. We'll say this website compared to this website, which is performing higher, which one has a higher um, funnel conversion rate. And this is how, especially with WordPress, we develop e-commerce themes um, that, that have higher conversion rates is because it's this, it's this constant evolution towards the highest conversion rate. Well, if this website is performing lower than this one, why shouldn't I change it to look more like this one? And then if this one is, is not performing well enough, let's change it to this one. So that A-B testing is constantly happening um, with the best e-commerce sites in the world. And then we can, as small business owners, we can piggyback off a lot of that, off a lot of that uh, development, you know. Goal flow, and I'm just gonna skip through quickly because goal flow, it looks a lot just like user flow, right? We can measure user flow on most integrations, but goal flow is the actual uh, visualization of the goals that you have configured and how people flow through them. So direct, so these are all the people coming to your website through different channels and the 11,000 people that arrive in your shopping cart. Very cool, very good to see. So I think that's about it. I don't wanna to go too long here. I just want you guys to get a chance to see what this looks like when it's been configured properly. Um, so you can see what these insights, how, how, how useful these insights might be. All right, so thank you so much for coming back. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can check me out on LinkedIn and on Facebook. It's Matt at MyWebBro.com. And you can also check me out at DasWow.com. So have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.